Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel. In the video today, we're going to look at the business that Ben and Jerry considered starting before they started their very famous ice cream company. Let's get started. Ben and Jerry's was originally going to be a bagel company. Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield ended up changing their minds when they found out how much it would cost to get all the needed equipment for making bagels. Instead, in 1978, they both took a $5 correspondence course from Pennsylvania State University on ice cream making. They then used $12,000, 4000 of which was borrowed, and converted an old gas station in Burlington, Vermont, into an ice cream parlor called Ben and Jerry's Homemade. Before opening the ice cream shop, Jerry Greenfield was a lab technician in New York who tried three times to get into medical school, failing each time. Ben Cohen attended various colleges and eventually dropped out and settled on working as a crafts teacher for emotionally disturbed children in New York. In New York, Ben and his old friend from junior high and high school, Jerry Greenfield, shared an apartment in Manhattan before once again parting ways. Eventually, the two reunited and decided to start some sort of a food company, first going with bagels and then settling on ice cream. When they sought out a suitable location for their ice cream shop, they set the criteria that it should be someplace with a very warm climate, should be in a college town, and should be a town where there were no other ice cream shops. In the end, they found that every college town in a warm climate already had one or more ice cream shops, so they threw out the warm requirement and settled on Burlington, Vermont, which didn't have an ice cream shop. By 1983, just five years after they first opened their doors, Ben & Jerry's products at their own retail stores and sold through various other outlets had gross sales of around $2 million. Just one year later, they achieved a gross of over $4 million. One year after that, they were grossing $9 million. One year after that, in 1986, they grossed over $20 million. In 1987, they finally broke their amazing doubling streak and only grossed $32 million. The following year, their rapid growth caused President Ronald Reagan to award the two of the U.S. Small Business Persons of the Year. In April of 2000, a mere 22 years after Ben & Jerry's Homemade Inc. was founded, the two sold the now publicly traded company for $326 million to the British-Dutch food company Unilever. At the time, manual sales were just shy of $200 million, and today that sits at around $240 million. Bonus Facts since their inception, Ben & Jerry's ice cream was tooted as all-natural. However, in 2010, the company was forced to stop labeling their ice cream and frozen yogurt such when it was discovered by the Center for the Science and Public Interest that corn syrup and many other artificial ingredients were used to make their ice cream. Bonus Fact 2 Contrary to rumor, Ben and Jerry did not appear to have ever been a couple. In fact, Jerry was dating his eventual wife when Ben and Jerry were roommates. He also left the company for a few years to help his future wife, Elizabeth, pursue her PhD in psychology. The rumor that Ben & Jerry are gay received a huge boost when Ben & Jerry's came out with the Hubby Hubby flavor for one month, which featured two men getting married on the cover and was in support of gay marriage rights. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.